Morning, hello, and welcome to Ashley. Yay. Just to add to confusion, another Ashley. Um, we've also got other Ashley joining us in just a moment as well. Uh, we're just outside the Days of Christmas store in Disney Springs. Uh, we're popping in here to have a little whiff of the Christmas stuff because I love Mickey's very merry Christmas party and the smell after you. Oh, it just makes me happy. My biggest problem with stores like this is wanting to buy pretty much everything I see. All the decorations look so pretty. <laughs> look how cute they are, the little bells. And we've already had Ashley, we have Ashley again! Yay! We look a bit whitewashed because of the light. Oh, right. There you go, there Yay! you go, there you're here. Okay, cool. Um, now we're heading on to Fort Wilderness Resort because today we are going, well, Ashley and I are going back to Fort Wilderness Resort to go and do canoeing or kayaking, which we never got around to doing last time. And um, Ashley has not done it either, so it'll be a fun day out for all three of us. It's a fun story. Um, um, am I in focus? I can't really tell with these sunglasses on. I think so. Maybe? No? Yes? We'll go with it. Anyway, um, fun story. Hurricane Irma was this week. And Hurricane Irma was a bit of a anti-climax, really. We were all prepared for a Category 4 hurricane. And by the time that you got here, it's just Category 1. So it just ended up being some strong winds and rain. Um, thank you to everyone who sent well wishes. It was very much appreciated, um, but yeah, absolutely fine. The only difference is that a lot of flights got cancelled and now everything's dead. So it's now three days since the hurricane hit and we're going through parks and not having to get fast passes for stuff because everything's so quiet. So there's always, there's always a silver lining. We are now heading to Fort Wilderness Resort to hook up with a, a kayak or canoe three kayaks or one canoe one kayak we haven't decided yet um we're also staying at art of animation tonight which is quite exciting i haven't stayed there since i stayed there in like october no december 2015 it's nearly two years ago um it's a lovely resort and i will show you around obviously um that is providing that my battery lasts long enough okay. hello also do you like my new yellow umbrella it's from Abercrombie and & Fitch and I'm very happy with it. We have arrived at Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort, uh, making our way over to Fort Wilderness. We have decided to see if there's a boat that can take us over to Fort Wilderness. Um, this is the Deluxe. Uh, we are going to the less Deluxe. It's m considered moderate. Um, that's where uh, we stayed at the cabins and where they did the campfire and stuff. So majestic. And this is the new area they've added where they've got the guys at Point Bar and Grill and the Boulder Ridge Pool for like if you're staying at Boulder Ridge DVC, which is this building over here. So if you're a Disney Vacation Club member or you want to buy a room, you can do it there. This is the Boulder Ridge Bar and Grill. So if you want to come here for a drink by the lagoon, you're more than welcome to. Um, there's also a quick service location there. So if you're looking for a beverage, should we get nice water? Hydration is important in the state of Florida. Fun story, we were going to go to Fort Wilderness and go kayaking slash canoeing. Turns out Fort Wilderness is still currently closed after the hurricane because a lot of trees fell down, obviously. Um, so we're not going to Fort Wilderness, instead we are going to the Art of Animation. I think we're going to go via the Magic Kingdom bus station and go and check in. Yay! Champagne lady, what's the problem? It's not a proper bell. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, ma'am. Are you complaining of the fact that it's not a service bell? <laughs> to bring your servants over and serve you champagne? Me, I'm the servant here. <laughs> <laughs> we have arrived at the Magic Kingdom bus depot. We are now at our depot. We're now heading to the Art of Animation Resort, which is going to be bus stop numero... 34! Oh, that's a while away. The one day I bring my nice yellow umbrella out to enjoy the rain and nothing. Rains every other day, <laughs> but the one day I bring my umbrella out, no dice. It's really sad hearing the Splash Mountain music when you know Splash Mountain's on the refurbishment. A laughing place, a laughing place, to go ho oh, oh, ho, everybody's got a laughing place. And this is the right 
Some of the effects of Hurricane Irma over there. Thanks for writing with us. Welcome home. Thank you, voice. This is Ashley's first time at the Art of Animation. I forgot to mention that uh, other Ashley has gone home to pick up her stuff. <laughs> She's not here. Oh, it does smell lovely. It smells very fresh and fruity. All right, let's go check in. Do you like it? All checked in. I'm gonna have to put my ha hair in a hat very shortly. That, ooh, that is such a cool arcade. Oh, come on, let's go and drop our bags. Uh, we are in the building seven, in room 7638, which is rather exciting. We will head there now and deposit said bags. We also want to go in the pool today. Um, the drop off, you go to the drop off. That's the name of the bar. Bar, Ashley, bar. Mine, mine, mine. Mine, mine, mine. Mine. Oh, banana, squash banana. Something, 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 Simba. Remember who you are. Akuna Matata. What does that mean? It means no worries. Be prepared. Sing with me now. Sha la 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 ma yo ma yo de water sha yo gonna kiss the girl. Wow wow. Gary's gonna be very jealous because we're staying in the Ursula building. Ooh la la. It's what I live for. Seven six three eight is in this direction. Seven six four eight four seven. We're getting there. Oh, we have a nice view as well. Seven, six, three, eight. Ashley, would you like to do the honours? Absolutely, darling. Oh. Now you can't be shellfish and take up the whole whole seat, okay? <laughs> okay, darling. This is nice. It's very family friendly. Yeah. If you wanted to be here with kids, this would be a nice resort to stay in. I like the curtain. <laughs> it's nice. It's one of, one of the better Bali resorts, in my opinion. So, I'll give you a little mini tour of the room. Front door, lovely. Windows with sea like curtains. The floor is also Little Mermaid themed, which is nice. Beds, two doubles. Eric on the window, great. TV, drawers, table, chairs. This is the, this is what I would like to call bog standard room. Like it's got all the things that you really need, but um, it's not as above and beyond, for example, as the Animal Kingdom Lodge or like um, those sort of resorts. Like there's perfect amount of amenities out, out in the resort, like pools and quick service, but it's not just like the rooms are going to be smaller than, for example, deluxe and stuff. Um, but one cool thing though is they've got this Disney Skyliner leaflet. So there's construction going on here ready for the Disney Skyliner and they're kind of telling you what it is and how it's going to go from Epcot to Disney's Riviera Resort to Disney's Caribbean Beach, Hollywood Studios and then Pop Century Now of Animation. So that'll be one way to get to Epcot and Hollywood Studios in the future if you're staying here. Can you tell I've been to the pool with my extra fluffy hair? Um, tradition when staying at a Disney Resort is to turn on Walt Disney World today and enjoy some of the music. I now have my Fort Wilderness hat on, which I had ready for our boating adventure, which never happened. Um, and where are we going? For food. Yeah! 
I don't know. I, I, didn't, I thought you, you wanted us to tell the name of it. I don't know what the name is. Oh, no. It's just, okay. it's just the food court. Just the food. <laughs> just the food court. <laughs> we are heading into Landscaper Flavours. Ooh. I love this food court. It's so good. I want something delicious and unhealthy. I'm torn between double bacon cheeseburger and chicken breast nuggets. Ashley, which one should I go for? Have both. Not helpful. Ashley, what should I have? Have both. <laughs> Can't have both. I'm getting the chicken nuggets because. I'm getting bacon cheeseburger. Oh, and double no. bacon. You keep saying burger and I keep hearing mmm. <laughs> I keep hearing mmm, burger. Are you both getting burgers? Oh, yeah. I feel like I'd be rude if I didn't get one now. Oh my god. Any toppings on your burger? Uh, no, can I just get three of the burgers? Yeah. This is a little bit ridiculous, but okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, so I've got this ridiculously large meal, and I've also picked up a fountain beverage as well. This is the moment I've been waiting for Disney French fries and barbecue sauce. Mm. Hello viewers, I have a question for you. If you get to the end of burger and you cannot finish said burger, do you A, eat the burger or B, eat the bun? These two eat the bun. I would eat the burger because that's what you paid for. But look at this beauty. All the rubbish. Oh, it's not that you didn't finish the lettuce and to top it off, it's a chip bun. And a soggy bun. I love a soggy bun. We were just admiring how much effort Disney puts into designing just a quick service. Like, the clouds in the, on the lights, the fact that there's like sea creatures and the windows and stuff. I love it. We are now journeying back to the room because the battery is about to die and I want to show you guys the resort. So this is the dedication that I do for you. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh, I think I'm, am I too chill? Oh, that's all right. Oh, this is lovely. Ta-da. I did it. Yay. Now you're a big boy. Yay. We are now having a little stroll around the resort. This is the Little Mermaid side. Fun story about the Little Mermaid side of Art of Animation. Um, this was actually going to be the classic years of Pop Century where you could stay in the 20s, 30s, 40s or 50s. But then Disney realised that 20s, 30s, 40s and 50s are kind of a little bit outdated. So they never built that. Instead they left it and then built Art of Animation because the shells were already built for these Little Mermaid buildings. And then they only had to build the new Anna and uh, animation suites for Lion King, Finding Nemo, and cars that would accommodate families, which is nice. Could you share that fun fact with the audience? All right, a Scar is born. Jeremy Irons was the voice of Scar, but he didn't sing, be prepared. He had a sore throat. So Jim Cummings, the voice of the hy hyena Ed, sang it instead. The more you know. I feel cheated. Isn't that reflection for the water just beautiful? Yeah. It's like the reflection pond. There's a storm coming. And it's coming from that direction. We just uh, Ashley was just saying how much she loves these facts and I actually quite like them as well. When Rafiki sings, Asante sana squash banana, we we nugu mi mi apana. It really means thank you very much, squash banana. You're a baboon, and I'm not. <laughs> what does the other one say? The Lion King was one of the first Disney films to use computer character animation. They took about three years to create the Wildebeest Stampede. They even built custom software so the Wildebeest didn't run into each other. Ah, that is the bridge over to Pop Century. So if you wanted to walk to Pop Century, you can do so. But we're going to head away from the mosquitoes of the lagoon and back towards the center towards this very dark cloud Whoa. do a very good job of making the the actual ground look like it's part of this ocean floor with this fish swimming along in it yeah uh oh mr 
Mr. Ray, Mr. Ray. Fly the board. Oh, let's go explore, explore, explore. Let's go explore the big blue world. Boo! Oh, God, <laughs> there is definitely a storm coming. We hope to be inside by said storm. We're now heading into the land of Radiator Springs. I heard, I heard that the cars have been modelled to a size that makes them appropriate to people size. So like, if they were a person, to make them more approachable to children. Because if they were full car size, they'd be quite intimidating. Yeah. I love this area. Cozy Cone Motel, which is actually the pool. And you can have cone cabanas. And they've also got Mater's place over there. Which is, ends up at being one of the rooms, or one of the room buildings, should I say. And then you've got Luigi's over there, with the tire tower. I love it. This breeze is lovely. Oh, the rain's coming. And here we see the Ashley enjoying the breeze. <laughs> You're not like one of those people who's like in the middle of a race, like, ready, set, go. You know, at the start of the race, they have like a girl who does the flag. But here, this is your flag. Okay. Notice how we're staying in the dry. You can play out there if you want to. So I'm gonna do the noises. Uh, and then I'll say action, okay? Okay, quiet on the set. Three, two, action. So as the storm is coming, we've decided to take refuge under the Cozy Cone Motel reception desk. And we're just gonna watch, watch the storm come, hopefully. Unless it just goes straight past us, in which case it's a waste of time. What are you looking at? I'm looking to see if we've got Tinkerbell. Ashley loves Tinkerbell. She's my fave. So in the Art of Animation merchandise store, you have most of the things that you'll find in most of the merchandise stores, including pens, booklets, autograph books, pins, and bubbles, evidently. Um, phone cases, Halloween stuff right now. They've got some plush over there. They've also got some ornaments. So if you wanted to get some gifts for people, you could. Mugs, for example. Um, and also, if you end up with snack credits at the end of your vacation, you can use it on anything that's food that's under five dollars in your resort. And I recommend these. These are amazing. Um, and then all the goofy, goofy candy co snacks. They work as good gifts, especially if you've got snack credits left over. Uh, yeah, and then the essentials as well. And they've got t-shirts and hats and stuff over there. Oh no, we're back in the food court. How? What a shame. Ice cream. Goodness me, look at all these pastries and bakery items. That's breakfast tomorrow morning, that is. We've got Mickey fruit tarts. Oh, it's all so cute. Ashley and I are a little bit overwhelmed with all these flavours. We've got vanilla bean, chocolate, pistachio, raspberry, Nutella and cookies and cream. My gosh. So it's important to note that whilst they do ice cream in the quick services, they don't do milkshakes and sundaes and stuff. But what I'm tempted to do is to buy something like an everything brownie or like a cookie or something and then get some ice cream in a cup and then put that on top and make my own sundae. Haha. This is my little combination sundae. Carrot cake and then cookies and cream ice cream with Mickey Sprinkles. We're heading into the Pixel Play Arcade. Ooh, look how big and shiny it all is. 
Oh look, 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 look. They have a, they have a fuel rod station in here. I haven't got my fuel rods with me, but that's cool. I like this. It's so big and shiny. I want to play this one too. Woo! We have 600 points to spend. 600 points cost us $10. So in theory, if that's a $1 game for 50 points, and we have 600 points, then that means we could have 12 games on that, in theory, for the price of $10, which means we've got two games for free, correct? Yes. Maths. Ashley, what have you done? Okay. <laughs> she just bought another one. I thought we were sharing it. Oh, for the love of God. Ashley, are you buying one as well? <laughs> With a one dollar bill. <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you some money. That's all right. Oh, well that was easy. Thank you. And then you press this to add the points to the game. There you go. It's one game. Oh, oh. Good job. <laughs> you have a shot, I don't. All right, go on then. I like that you got seven points, not 33. <laughs> Actually won against me, but we saved the day. That was the important thing. We're currently playing ski ball. Ashley's won out of all of us so far, but this is rigged because I got it in the 3,000. Didn't count it. I'm going again. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie! <laughs> finished up in the arcade and taken a stroll around the pool because it has now opened up now the rain has passed. I've just noticed the bar is open everyone. The bar. So we are here at the drop off. The drop off! <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting a pina colada and I think you, 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 those girls are going for a Moscato colada. He even told me, be careful with the raspberry, and I just spilled it all down me. That's it, me. I don't know the words. Life under the sea. <laughs> it's a, it's it's a better, mess, it's, it's, it's a mess it, up there. Life it, under the sea is better than anything they got up there. <laughs> and I thought Ursula was in a position where she's like, your bag! <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> that, what was that noise? 
<laughs> it's like an it's like an elephant giving birth. I had alcohol in my mouth. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, look at that lightning though. Oh, that that's was good pretty. One. Nice electrical storm to send you off to bed. We are back in the room and we are ready for a very chilled out evening, which is the whole purpose of us doing this little staycation is to have a bed that isn't our normal bed and a chance to get away from it all, which we have today, which has been lovely. Um, so thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Damn. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see all my future stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.